Next on ABC 7's 10 at 10. From the tattoos I told him he had, they told me it was him. Heartbreak for seven El Paso families. One mother helps police identify her son's body. The reason police are having difficulties with identifications. Iris. Well, 106 was the official high today. We went from hot afternoon to a very windy evening. We'll see what's off the radar looks com like coming up. You know, how a bar setting in reality just doesn't work with a pandemic. Forced to close their doors again in restaurants, having to lower capacity. The regret Texas Governor Abbott is having about his reopening plan. ABC 7's 10 at 10 starts now. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderland. This is ABC 7 at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us for ABC 7's 10 at 10. Police continue their investigation into the wreck that killed seven and severely injured three more. We are learning more about the moments leading up to the deadly crash. ABC 7's JC Navarrete explains how a witness saw the crash unfold and the emotions of an El Paso mother who believes her son is among the dead. Seven lives were lost that Thursday morning and much of it remains a mystery today. We are learning more about this crash from someone who witnessed it firsthand and saw the scene. That man telling us that morning will stick with him forever. He was talking in Spanish. He was, uh, when we showed up, he was coming out and he started yelling, Ayúdeme, por favor, no me deje morir, jefe, no me deje morir. The pleas of a victim fresh in this witness mind.